So I literally just got back from work. I tried recording this before I went, but uh, the servers were down. Right as the update came out, um, for quite a while actually. But we're here now. There's it's quite a massive update actually. There's a lot of stuff to go over, um, both cosmetically and gameplay wise. So yeah, let's get into it. I want to say first though that if you enjoy my content, it would mean the world to me and help me out more than you could imagine if you um, subscribed. So please consider doing that um, just to support me and, you know, if you enjoy my content, I'll help you get up to date with it and stuff. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, as you can see here straight away, you got a new title, Reveler, uh, which you get for logging in during this event. And that, uh, there's also a new home screen. There's a lot of stuff to go over. Um, this is my first time actually logging into the game, as you can tell from that. But um, I've seen all this on the streams and stuff. But here we go, titles. Veteran of Asgard 1. I don't know what that's actually for. And then there's Reveler, which anyone gets when they lock in to Brawl during this event, which I've already said, but uh, <laughs> thought I should make it clear. Um, I'm going to stick this one on. Don't know what it is, but you know, new thing in the game, need to stick it on. Um, there's also a lot of new cosmetics in the store. There is... And it'll probably be here. Here we go. There's a new podium. Uh... Which will go away. I don't think you can buy this um, once the anniversary event is over. Uh, if you didn't know, this actually this entire update is for the fifth anniversary of Brawl. It says here, uh, "Happy fifth anniversary," which is pretty sick. It's pretty mad how far this game's come in those five years. I've only been around for two in a bit, but yeah, it's crazy. Um, this button is pretty sick. I I'm probably gonna have to get it. I can't lie. Uh, we got a new Bodvar skin, which looks beyond dapper. Uh, the sword is actually really cool, and the hammer. And you'll notice the colours. There's actually new colours. Um, Gala scheme. Which looks very sick on most legends. And I'm going to have to have a look at my mains in training room actually. Because I, I, might, have to, I might have to purchase some of them. And then we got a new taunt. This uh, <laughs> I didn't realise it made that noise. But we got a new cake taunt for celebrating 5 years. 5th birthday or whatever. Since the uh, closed beta. And I think that's it. For like the like the skins and podiums and stuff, I'm pretty sure, but I feel like oh, and also for the titles, um, there's gonna be more. Uh, hopefully, there'll be like a content creator one. Um, there'll be one for winners of tournaments, uh, BCX winners and stuff. Uh, like the the past BCX winners have already got the titles, so like Remy and Boomy have their like 2017 twos. Uh, BCX winner titles. I think it's like BCX champion 2v2 or BCX champion 2016, something like that. But yeah, no, that's, it's really sick what they've done. Uh, I think it's a good feature to add. Um, I feel like there's more stuff to go over cosmetically, Training. but there's a lot of gameplay stuff too, and I'm gonna get into that first. Though I feel like we should have a look. Oh, I wonder what color my gauntlets are. You know the gauntlets if we can find them. Maybe? Where are they? Here we go. Oh, that is the complete wrong skin. Um, oh, and now the corners are gone. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Wrong color. We'll get there eventually, trust me. Here we go. Oh. It looks kind of nice. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting them for my mains. The, the color actually costs in the store. Uh, same as um, the Halloween and home team. It costs 3,000 and they'll be going away after the event finishes, which I don't know when that is, but probably not too long from now. And uh, let's let's have a look at Nyx of Gala Colors. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to buy them. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I was looking, I was struggling to find a good color for this skin. Uh, not anymore, not anymore. But um, yeah, that's just most of the cosmetic stuff really. Uh, I'm going to get into the gameplay side of things, which a lot of important stuff has actually been added. Uh, yeah, it, it's crazy what they've finally done, and I'm happy they've done it. But um, let's get into that. First, though, I, I can't believe I forgot to mention the the things they've done to our boys Sentinel and Thatch. Um, Sentinel looks nice, base skin, but there's no more Obama. He don't, <laughs> It's no longer an Obama skin. It's, it's really... um. It's really painful, but that's not the worst. That's not the worst. Let's take a look at. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh, oh my God! What is this? What is this? This is uh, this is Fatch now. This is Fatch after years and years of very hard substance abuse. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's let's get some games in. So they've actually added a lot of things gameplay wise, and some of them people have been asking for for a long time. Um, I'm sure you've seen some of them, but uh, I think it's worth going over. Um, if anyone remembers the jump mods that were around, basically now you can see those little like red exclamation marks or little red sparks come out when it's uh, when it's your last jump. So now it's it's a lot easier to keep track of how many jumps you have left. Um, also, the cloud for the second one's a lot more obvious than it used to be. So um, there's that. There's also, you actually know when you touch a wall or not now because there's a little yellow yellow cloud that comes out. It's like really obvious to see. But then it's not too like in your face, which is also good. Um, but now it's kind of confirmed because sometimes, you know, you'd be edge guarding someone and you'd be like, wait, did they, did they touch? And then you'd kind of, you, you just wouldn't know what to do next and it could result in you like, like fumbling the edge guard or, you know, just completely messing up the entire play. But now you know for sure if someone's touched a wall or if you've touched the wall even. Because sometimes you'll give up trying to recover and then you'll be down here and you'll be like, wait, what? I touched? And then it's too late. Um, there's also this. So if you run out of all your options, you start getting like sweats above your head. Um, so now you can kind of keep track. If someone has absolutely nothing left, you can just go for it. You can just absolutely go for it. And yeah, it's really obvious to see. Um, it's good that they're doing all these things because uh, the game needs them. Uh, new players especially need them, and it cuts down on people, you know, having an unfair advantage on PC by using mods. So, like me myself, I'm a I'm a console player, so obviously when everyone was using the jump mods, it was kind of it was kind of annoying to see because I can't do that, and they had like a clear advantage. But now you don't even need it anymore, which is uh, yeah. It's a really good change. Um, also, gravity cancels look different. There's like a platform underneath you when you gravity cancel a move now, which I don't know about this one. It's it's okay. It's actually um, if anyone knows anything about like the law, uh, which I don't, but I was listening to the dev stream. It's actually uh, the the bifrost that appears underneath you, which is how you get into Valhalla, um, which is where you're fighting in this game. So it's kind of cool, but I don't know. It's a uh, it's really big, I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't mind it. I definitely don't mind it. It's it's kind of just more obvious now when someone's gravity canceling the move. Um, yeah, it can just help you react quicker. Um, I guess it kind of. I mean, if you do a gravity cancel really late. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what that really does, but it's something. It's that it kind of improves the overall just design of the game I guess um, something else you would have noticed too is dodges look way more obvious and this one I'm a big fan of because um, it's just better like there's no way that this isn't better um, you can just really really see and especially for me playing gauntlets and scythe having this is um, pretty nice it, it probably helped you react a lot quicker to dodges because it's just so much bigger and so much more obvious um, but yeah no I like it uh, I think that's about it though Oh, there's new um, hit animations, so you'll see, uh, I don't know if it does it in slow-mo, but these like red spot. does it? Yeah, you see like these red sparks that come out and stuff, um, they've just updated those, they look better now, so, yeah, all around, I think they've done a, a really good job, um, this patch, uh, even though there's no actual balance patch, because obviously we're in the middle of BCX, you can't release a balance patch in the middle of BCX, um, I still think they've done a really sick job. Uh, oh wow, even the blasters, do they look different? I can't tell. Anyway, um, I think we should get a few games in before I uh, before I call this video. Um, actually, I don't know if I've recorded this part before or after showing off like the shop and stuff, but y probably before. So let's show off the shop and all the new cosmetic items in the game. I thought I'd play one or two games uh, on the Azuri. Uh, nice, easy character. Um, for my tired, exhausted brain. Uh, <laughs> uh, something I forgot to mention, which will become apparent through this game, uh, the next one, is smoke trails are a thing now, and that downlight didn't hit, even though... Oh, you can see the sweat's coming out there. 
Oh, the dodges are actually just so much more clear. But, um, yeah, you'll see these, like, trails coming out when uh, people get more damaged. And honestly, like, you'd never notice when people had absolutely no options before. Like, now it's just... Well, no, you would notice, but at times you wouldn't. Now you're just going to notice, like, extremely easily. And I don't know, it's really nice, actually. Um, like, it's not unfair, because if everyone has it, like, it's... You can say that, like, learning, you know... I'm just going to do a jump, sir. Oh, that was... It, it didn't happen the way I wanted it to, I guess. Oh my god. Am I going to choke the first stock? Am I going to... I did. I choked it. But you can see those smoke trails coming out. Um, which I think look actually really nice. Uh, the, the road I don't want them to go down, or the route I don't want them to go down with it, is making it... Oh. Oh no. Here we go. There we go. It's making them customizable. Because you can see how big they are. And imagine, like, if they were just, like, bright pink. Imagine just how, like, messy it would be. Especially in game modes, like, twos or even free-for-all. Which, I mean, I know no one actually plays free-for-all or cares about free-for-all. But still imagine, like, it would just be... It would make the game mode even worse. Which I, <laughs> is saying something. Um, but, like, especially in twos, though. Like, twos is already a bit cluttered already. Um, a bit is already a bit cluttered already. Well, my English is fantastic but when you look at the stuff like the kill feed in twos and how much of the screen it covers up and just like how annoying stuff like that is imagine like big uh, like custom trails and stuff like for every single person getting hit like four massive streaks of like neon pink flying across the screen i don't know it'd be annoying but oh this guy's kind of going off actually you should um focus a bit more here but I don't know. I feel like I was actually talking about something too, but... Oh, yeah, you could say that, like, learning, you know, how many, like, learning to count jumps and options and stuff is part of, like, the learning curve of the game. But, like, it's not like new players are going to have it easy now just because all less skilled players are going to have it easy now. Like, this update, you know, with its new visual cues and everything... It isn't going to make people who would be silver players diamond now. Like, you're still going to have to be careful with your options. You're still going to be have to... You're still going to be have to... You're still going to have to be, you know, cautious of your opponent's options. Like, it's not made the game easy. And it's going to help all people. Like, it's... Pro players are going to, you know... I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to help them. But they're going to notice things like, you know, obviously not every time. Most of the time they're going to know what they're doing. But... Sometimes they're gonna be like, oh, they don't have a, they don't have a dodge, or oh, um, they don't have a recovery here or something like, you know, or oh, they touch the wall, uh, like that's a big thing. Like, look, watch esports, right, and look at how many times pro players like drop edge guards because they didn't know their opponent touched the wall, or they didn't know they themselves touched the wall, or, like, you know, it's not it's not changed a lot. It's the game. It's still going to be difficult for players who aren't, you know, practiced and who aren't actually, well, you know, good at the game. Like, it's it's not really a, a valid complaint, in my opinion, anyway. Um, this Ulgrim, he, he's playing so sweaty, but, like, I'd, I'd expect him to be destroying me, but he's just not. And I don't understand, because he is genuinely playing so, so sweaty. I <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh, he's not dead. Oh my god. Like, he's just... Oh my god, look at him go. He's zooming. He's zooming. <laughs> Never mind, he's beating me now. Look at him go. Oh. Let's get a... Oh my god. <laughs> We're gone. We're gone. Um, I don't know. Anyway, hopefully you lot are actually... You know, I like this update uh, for the most part. Uh, don't have too many complaints of it. Uh, I definitely don't. I think every single thing they've done this update has been for the better. Uh, maybe not the particle like effects, like the smoke trails when people get um. Oh my god, we're going off. Uh, Katarzyn to Lance is usually pretty bad, but you know, if we're making it work, we're making it work, I guess. But uh. 
Yeah, maybe not like the smoke effects. Those are kind of... I'm a bit iffy on them. I mean, if they keep them how they are now, then it's not going to be too bad. But if they start, you know, giving them custom stuff, and like, I've already talked about it, but I don't know. Then it'd be a bit not for me, I guess. Uh, right now, though, um, I'm fine with it. And everything else, I'm more than fine with. I'm actually happy with. And you see the sweat coming out. You see him dropping. Um, I'm actually confused. He was, he was His movement was really good. He's just... I don't know. I know GG, I think. Maybe maybe he's just a really good player who's very, very tilted right now. I, we'll never know. But, yeah, regardless. I hope you lot enjoyed the video. Hope you lot have fun with this new update. You know, grind those coins out uh, so you can buy all the colors before it goes away. And, um, yeah, I know I'm going to be getting every Scythe Legend. <laughs> or trying to, anyway. Oh, it's going to be a grind. But anyway, I hope you lot have enjoyed. If you did, then leave a like. I would uh, really appreciate it. And subscribe too. It helped me out a lot. And it helped you keep up to date with my content. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Which, actually, I'm not going to spoil it. It's a Scythe Legend who I haven't played n nearly enough on the channel. Uh, you'll see. Anyway, peace in a bit.